Hello everyone, imagine this. After a long, stressful day, you hop into your bed, pick up your phone off the nightstand, and look at an entertaining, glowing screen until you decide you need to go to sleep. Sound familiar? This right here is a part of my bedtime routine, and I've always been told that screens before bed are awful for your sleep. I've been told it's because of this thing called blue light, which comes from your phone. Having just got a new phone that has a blue light filter that makes my screen look more orange, I decided to investigate what blue light actually does to our minds and bodies. So let's start with what blue light is. Blue light is one of the shortest wavelengths lengths of light in our visible spectrum. It is emitted from things such as our laptops, smartphones, and the sun. Because blue light has such a short wavelength, it also emits more energy than most other kinds of light. But what's really interesting about blue light is how research has shown that it suppresses melatonin in our bodies. Melatonin is a hormone in our body that helps regulate sleep. Normally when we are awake, melatonin levels are low, and when we are asleep, melatonin levels are high. When we see blue light, our bodies suppress melatonin as it senses that it is not nighttime anymore and we should be awake. So when you are outside basking in the sun, your brain doesn't receive a lot of melatonin because your body is saying, oh, what's that? Blue light? Better not release melatonin. But when it's nighttime and there isn't blue light being received, your body says, oh, no blue light? Go ahead, melatonin, make me sleepy. But why blue light? Other than the fact that blue light emits a lot of energy, it may have been beneficial to our ancestors to be awake when blue light was present. Our ancestors obviously found it advantageous to be awake during the day and asleep at night for various reasons. Therefore, our bodies might have found it useful to suppress melatonin when the sun is out and release melatonin when it isn't. So now with our devices shining blue light into our eyes 24-7, it is ruining our sleep schedule because our bodies have not accounted for this change. This makes us essentially trick our bodies into thinking it's still daytime. Companies like Samsung are starting to take notice of this problem and now offer blue light filters on their devices. This causes the screen to turn orangish, which some people say could sort of replicate dusk, a time when humans are normally going to bed. So do these things work? Well, more research is needed. While there have been studies that have shown that wearing blue light goggles can significantly reduce melatonin production compared to not wearing blue light goggles, these blue light filters have yet to be extensively studied empirically. So if you find yourself having trouble sleeping, try turning off your phone an hour or two before you go to bed. In our connected world, this is hard to do, but it is the closest thing you can get to no blue light exposure and a better night's sleep. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.